Hi, people. It's Killer J here, and we are back with Retro Long Years Rebooted. We are back with Retro Long Years Rebooted, and today we are reviewing Redfall for the Xbox Series X, Series S, Series X, PC, and reviewing a lot of variety of platforms and cloud gaming and a multiplayer mode type of game, single player, first person shooter, action, uh, non linear gameplay, open world adventure. Polisher Bethesda Software, the developer Arcane Studios. This game is shit. Yes, I said the word shit because that's what it is. It is a shitty game. A shitty, mediocre experience because I, to me, I did not care about this game. This game was, you know, dog shit there, basically. It was like playing it there, just these multiplayer. There is good multiplayer games out there and. This game being 30 FPS in 2023 is like whatever. I know this game wasn't gonna be ready there because I know Hi-Fi Rush was ready because I think they took their time with Hi-Fi Rush. It was just it's good they took their time with that one. But this one here, don't get me wrong, the concept is cool when you fight vampires. That is cool and unique because we don't have many games where you fight vampires. So I do like the 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 concept has original con has some of a good concept. The concept was executed poorly that in a multiplayer game. If they, I know it was like Left 4 Dead with zombies, but they could have added some offline campaign features. Not always online DRM shit. There, that's not that not not no one that no one cares for. Who cares for that in the year 2023? Nobody. And because people, let's just say for example, people have no internet. How are they gonna how they're gonna play this game? Exactly. That's right. That that's modern gaming in a nutshell. Modern gaming in a nutshell in the year 2023. The graphics are good. Don't get me wrong; they're good for what they are for Xbox Series S quality. I'm not saying oh they're good for what they are. Don't get me wrong; they're good. That's a, one thing I like. But the graphics are good for what they are in some areas. But the gameplay is just gen generic sauce. Left for Dead, first for shooter, aim sight, aiming down, aiming the sights. It's just it, the vampires themselves are cool. Don't get me wrong; those are enemies are cool. But the 40 FPS thing is kind of like hampers the game a little bit. What else also hampers the game is the online multiplayer thing. There's just and the DRM and all that crap, and and once you get hit. Once you get hit, you lose a lot of stuff in the game. The game, the game is ridiculously ridiculous. And for the shotgun, they, I find they don't give you enough ammo for the shotgun. Is they have to use the stakes to take out the vampires in, in this game? There was better shooters out there. Don't get me wrong, there's better version of shooter games out there for the Xbox Series S and X, sir. Like Mel Halsinger is a good one. I recommend there's a bunch of uh, better version of shooters. And this is not one of them. Even Doom Eternal is way better in this game. There's a, a lot better shooters. Than there might be a better shooter that comes out this year in 2023. There might be another better shooter than Redfall. There's better things out there. Even Dead Island 2 is better in this game. Dead Island 2 that came out there. Dead Island 2 is way better in this. Even though it's a, even though it's a game that has melee combat. This Dead Island 2 is way better in this crap. This is just a pin me of dog shit right here. It's garbage, Redfall. Gar garbage game. So it's a garbage game you throw in a dumpster. You throw in a dumpster. And yes, I did not pay full price for this game because it's not worth the E999 Canadian. I got this off of Game Pass. That's how I'm able to review it. So I did not pay full price for this game. Because if I would have paid full price for this game, I would have been ripped off. Honestly, I would have been ripped off. But what I did pay for a full, full, full price, or what I got for full price, I mean to say, was uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And what I also plan on getting for full price later on down the future is uh, Warham the Warhammer Shooter. I plan on getting the Warhammer Shooter and a bunch of other games full price. Because I did get games full price like the Resident Evil 4 remake. That was worth the money. If you have not, and also there's a bunch of other games that are worth the money, like Wanted Dead, Wanted Dead was really good. Kurt, the Kirby game on the Switch was worth the money. It was well worth the full, well worth, well worth your money. This this game is not worth anything. This game is not worth the full price there. 
if you see this game on sale, get D pass discount, maybe get it. But that's a that's a maybe because I wouldn't suggest paying E999 or whatever the price is in the US paying full price for this shit because this is this shit is ridiculous because that's what it is. The vampire. The vampire. And this game sucks balls, so. Alright. This is Retro Modern Gamers here. Killer J is back. The old school Killer J is back. He is back and he's ready to review. So, for my reading on Redfall, I give it a 4 out of 10. I did not like it. I was going to give it a 5.5, but I said screw it, a 4 out of 10. So, this is Retro Modern Gamers here. I want to say thank you for watching. And this is a review that is unique. A review that is unique. And this is the old school Killer J here. So, and yes, you're getting a solo review. Yeah, I haven't got a solo review in a while, but I decided to bring one out and do a review. So, alright, peace out. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. And also, come up next. Come up next. There will be a beautiful Joe 2 review, as well as the Tony Hawk Pro Skater He She 1 and 2 remake review. I got a couple other reviews planned, and I'm still doing Let's Plays. I'm still doing the Resident Evil 4 review. The Resident Evil 4 Replus, Resident Evil 4 Replus play, as well as Binary Domain. There's two LP projects in the in the process. So I want to say thank you for watching out there, viewers out there. This may not be my best review, but it's a solo base. But I wanted to decide to give my opinions on Redfall, and, and I didn't care for this game. This game was just ass. This, this game was ass cheese. That's what it was. Che it's a cheesy ass game. So there you go. Alright, peace out for next one. See you later. Yeah, I lost, and this game is, fa is a fail. Good job, Microsoft and Arcane. You guys, you guys done goofed. That's all I have to say about that. Alright, peace out.